Welcome back to the Shitty Channel, everybody. Uh, we're back over in the Shitty Shop today, and we're going to be taking this equipment trailer, and we're going to make it go from this to this. So some of the things that we have to do is we need to scrape off any of the old silicone sealant that is around any of the edges. And then there is a section up here of metal that we need to remove and replace because uh, it appears it has been damaged and we can't get it to pop out. The only thing to do now though is just to get to work. I'm gonna scrape. All right. So we're going to use a drywall knife here and just use it to scrape off all this old stuff and get it out of our way. Now, we're not trying to make it the best thing ever, okay? We're just going to get as much of this goop off there that we can, get it flat enough to where when we, we're going to use a seam sealer tape is what we're going to do. So once we get all this old crusty nasty stuff off the tape will lay nice and flat Something to keep in mind that I totally forgot to mention earlier. Safety glasses. Anytime you're doing anything, you know, where stuff's potentially flinging around and flying around, I wanna protect your eyeballs. You know, uh, safety squints only get you so far and, and they work in a pinch. Even a cheap pair of safety glasses can possibly save your eyeballs. Gloves would probably be good too, but I've been using my fingers so. Well, we got one side down. Got to do the next one and uh, we parked a little too close to the wall here. So I'm gonna have to fight to get this in here so we can get up there. Let's see here. Oh, we're going. All right, we did it. All right, we've got the back side done, both sides done, all the way up to the nose. Let me tell you, this one is gonna be the fun one. It's pretty, pretty thick, all right. They laid it on there 
sick. All right, so we're gonna work at it for a minute and it shouldn't take very long. I didn't start this 30, 45 minutes ago with that. All right, so now that we've got all our old seam seal off there and out of our way, it's time to start sanding this puppy. Safety first. Some glasses, mask, some gloves. Helps that our little sander has a little catch bag. Right there. All right, let's get to it. Now that we've got it all sanded down, we're gonna go through and uh, blow everything off, try to get all the dust debris off there and get ready for the next step. So let's get the garage door opened up and get the studio door closed. That way everything goes out and not in the studio. All right, everybody, we got it all washed up and cleaned up and ready to go. So here directly, we're going to start laying down the sealer tape. And what we're going to be using is APOC Incredible with nano sealant technology. Uh, I've seen somewhere that this is supposed to bond real well with the paint that we use. So once we get the tape down, we'll get the paint. That's what I like to do. Now that we've got all our edges seam sealed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and anywhere that we put a patch in or anything like that, we're gonna put some tape as well. So uh, the patches that we put in are pretty much just supports. That way uh, we got the big nasty out just by throwing some supports in there. Uh, the owner of the trailer came by and we talked about it and. It's a good idea. It saved us from having to completely rip it apart and having to spend more money on some more metal. So it's really good. I like it. We just went in and scabbed in some pieces of plywood and a little bar of metal there and just gave us some support back. That way, you know, it's not holding water anymore and it should work. I really like this sponge roller. 
because it conforms to all the screw heads and any dips and lines and stuff like that. Really helps get this tape. Nice flat secure. So all in all today, it was a pretty good day. We got everything prepped and ready for paint. I debated on going ahead and staying out here and painting it tonight, but I think we're just gonna get back at it in the morning and knock it out. So see you in the morning. All right, day three, paint day for the roof. All right, to apply our sealer, we're gonna use a nine inch roller, four inch roller, nice little cut in brush, a little paint bucket, and a tray. We're also gonna use an extension for our pole to get to them hard to reach spots. And for our paint or sealer, we're going to use the Henry Durabrite White Elastomeric Roof Coating. And judging by the picture, metal roof as well as painting right on top of your existing roof. So we're going to use the metal application and we're going to roll it on. Look right there, metal roofs. It's going to be great. We'll see how this stuff does. So anytime you get some new paint, unless it's already been shaken at the store, it's always a good idea to get you a good mixer. Pre-mix your paint before you use it to make sure that all the additives to the paint, all the dyes, colors, are mixed properly and well. That will ensure better grippage to whatever you're painting. And then also, We'll ensure that you're using all the product and not just parts of it. Now that we got everything ready to go, we're just going to take our brush, we're going to cut in around the trim, we're going to cut in around the lights, Then after we get done cutting in, we'll start rolling things out. We'll use the four inch roller to touch up around here to knock down any brush marks. Then we'll go through and use the nine to cover the square footage. We got it primed with our first layer 
of sealer around our edges. And then all around on all the tape. Any tape that we put on, we primed. And while I was up here, I went ahead and did the nose too, just to see how it was gonna do. So now, unfortunately, we get to wait. And uh, it should only take about 45 minutes and then we should be able to put another coat on. So just make sure that you put all your stuff, uh, your brush, rollers, pan, whatever you're using, wrap in some kind of plastic. That way it doesn't dry out. The moisture from the product will keep it wet for a while, all right? So don't forget that part. All right. Looks like it's finally dry enough to apply another coat. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna focus on the stuff that we haven't touched yet. But at the same time, we're gonna overlap the tape with second coat. Then we're gonna go have lunch. And then when we come back from lunch, hopefully by then, everything else will be dry. And then we can put a second coat over the whole entire thing and call this project done. So let's get at it. delicious so I went ahead and already did my second coat around uh, the trim so now we're gonna get set up and then we're gonna do our final top coat on the top and then once it dries and cures job well done well job done we'll know if it's a well or job well done if uh, it doesn't leak in the rain, which it's raining today. So when we get it finished and pulled outside, we should know something. Let's go.
Alrighty, we've got two coats done and man, it's looking a lot better. We're just gonna wait for this to dry and then we're just gonna go around and look for any gaps or anything like that and hit them with some clear silicone, some clear caulk, you know, caulk. And then this puppy be ready for some rain. Just went around real quick. Some clear silicon. And spots like this. See how it's kind of high? There's some minimal voids in there that we missed earlier. So we just went ahead and filled everything in. Just a couple spots. Now she's ready to go. All right, so that does it for this equipment trailer today we've got the roof all nice and white it's all sealed up we've got some the damage fixed for the most part shouldn't pull water no more so that's good customers should be here soon to pick it up and it means we're going to be on to the next project so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and comment down below something you'd like to see happen uh, we got plenty of projects coming up here soon and well, just not enough time to do it all. So please follow along and tell all your friends. We'll catch you next time.